Hello everybody, uh, it was a great week, um, astrology wise there was a lot of things that goes on since we had that new moon on Sagittarius, a lot of the people felt the intensity of expressing things, say things, did things, uh, some of it did, some of it didn't, and now it's a first quarter moon, uh, that is the time when you review did you did what you're supposed to do? Did you get what you're supposed to get? And uh, so on and so on. Right now the moon is in Aquarius. And that is the time that you have to do some review within your own self. And you do have to rebel against yourself to be the truth for yourself. If you are not expressing the truth to yourself, then what are you living? You're living the lie. And this is why it's very important during this uh, period uh, of the next uh, day or two, uh, when the moon is in Aquarius, you to go ahead and does that. But before to bring the chart on of it, um, it was a very great uh, uh, time that I spent with the Twin Flames, uh, Sherry and Lee. Uh, we did a lot of work. Uh, we are going to be working it together for... Uh, uh, a workshop that's going to be in New York. Uh, that's going to be at the very first weekend of New York of April. I'm sorry, uh, the very first uh, week of April. That's mean April's full. So uh, we are going to see what uh, it's going to be and how the things are going to processing into that. So I'll give you kind of like the news from now on. So uh, get yourself, prepare yourself, do what you have to do. I know holidays coming. You want to spend money and everything. But between now and till April, there is like almost four months, five. So uh, you're going to be able to go ahead and uh, see what you need to adjust and what you need to do. Uh, also, uh, we're working also on the workshop in India, which is probably is going to take it on the second week or the third week of April. Into depends of how the schedule is going to be from work and everything else that's coming with it. Uh, more information on this will come in. I know a lot of people send me some messages about the workshop in India. Uh, it's going to be in Mumbai. So, uh, that is going to be, that's going to be the town. The dates we are configuring now uh, after the new, first of the new year. And we're going to be working on to create a Facebook uh, group that people who are interested in the workshop, they can go ahead to that group and they can register themselves, they can know themselves, they can share hotels, rooms, and so on, and so on with it. Um, but go back into the astrology report. Um, as I say, you know, that uh, when the moon was here together with the sun, that was it, the new moon. And the moon is right now in Aquarius, which is, is the first quarter moon. And... Um, uh, the processes that goes on with this, the processes that coming up into, it's gonna be focused on this. Did you did what you had to do to be a true to your own self? You have to understand the inner work, it's the most hardest work. You can go ahead and tell someone to do the job and you think that they'll take care of the job and you're gonna be okay. Uh, but guess what? Your inner job, it's your, your inner job, not somebody else. And tomorrow morning, when at the moon, it still is going to be an Aquarius. It's going to be still squaring Mars uh, a little bit, but also it's going to begin to square Mercury. Be careful how you talk to people, how you express yourself to people, and most of all, how you talking to yourself. Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. Uh, you can blame other people. Uh, don't bring your... Uh, personal stuff at work, especially tomorrow morning. Don't bring your stuff and you try to get whatever's going on at home or your personal things in transfer it to other people. This is uh, one of the biggest mistakes during this uh, um, squaring with uh, Mercury. Doesn't matter where it goes and how it goes. But uh, be very careful with this because usually this can open up a can of worms and new conflicts that they should not be there in the first place at all. So um, be aware of, of that. Um, the sun is squaring uh, Neptune. The Neptune is still at uh, 15 degrees, uh, 15 degrees, 56 minutes. 
and he's gonna be moving he's gonna be taking off uh, much more faster he's gonna be continue moving and for the last period when uh, Neptune was uh, retrograde he give you visions of the things that you need to do a visions of what's going to happen what you need to create what you have to overcome what is the things and now Neptune is gonna be forcing you it's time for you to do it you remember this dream it's time for you to achieve it. Remember this vision. It's time to you go ahead and see it. You remember this parts of inside of you. It's time for you to go get and do it. And this is going to be more transformations in a soul level. Since Neptune is in Pisces, is going to be uh, finishing this part of, okay, I understand. I was lying myself. I was hurting myself. Now it's time for me to rise up. Now it's time for you, for me to get in. And the moon in Aquarius is going to be very helpful as long you're careful with the communications that goes on into uh, Mars uh, opposing Uranus. So, you know, this is the craziness when a Mars is in um, Scorpio. Uh, that's the tense moments of all the craziness, you know, the killings and all the stuff that goes on into it. Because if you listen your ego, you're trying to kind of like uh, go ahead and uh, do a self-revenge and you're doing uh, things and crazy like this. That energy is still going to be there for uh, quite a while. So um, don't uh, go against personal vendettas and all so on and on and on. Look at inside of you. What is your limitations, what you need to overcome, what you need to do, how you need to look at this... Uh, uh, limitations and we look at the, the limitations right now Uranus has got a very good uh, trine with Saturn and Mars has got a sextile with Saturn so by using the limitations of the Saturn of the how you reteaching yourself you want to be able to overcome this heavy energy on it so um, Tuesday uh, the moon our favorite moon it's gonna move to Pisces and when it moves to Pisces this is the time when she's gonna be really squaring uh, the Sun it's gonna be feel that energy on Tuesday and the Sun also is gonna square Neptune and that's why those visions that I just said about it they're gonna come in and pop that up inside of you they're gonna come in your dreams that's gonna be the times when you fall asleep and you wake up in the middle of the night and the things that you did wrong, they're going to become hunting you. Because you didn't did the right stuff for yourself. You didn't did the right stuff they needed to be. And when those dreams comes in, those things they are going to begin to hunt you. What are you going to do? Are you going to be taking the actions to do what it's the right thing? Or you just going to be continue to be stubborn and continue to be suffering the way it is? Usually during this period uh, of time, that is the time when the messages come like little whispers in the soul until you get so ignorant and arrogant, then they become roar and then you want to have enough and enough time will be when you take the actions. That's why we're going to be monitoring all this Capricorn. We are going to have a, a stellium, that's a four planets, they're going to be in Capricorn. We are right now, we are getting uh, the movement of Jupiter who is entering this and by entering he's trying Uranus. And we have um, Jupiter, we have a Venus, we have Saturn, and we have Pluto and Capricorn. That's mean energy of that it's putting up together to have actions, to do something with you, to do something now. Be patient with this. Um, be very patient with this period because that period is going to take a while. It's not like a one day job and you just say, okay, I'm done. It won't be done. Just so you know. Uh, Wednesday, the moon, it's going to remind you about these dreams, about this hunting part. And when that hunting part comes in, uh, some of you not going to be able to sleep well because of your conscious what is in your conscious what happened into it what did you did what did you did not did you confess the truth or you lied you're hiding the truth so um 
then it is going to be good in the self-reflections of what you do. As I said here, this energy is going to be coming up more stronger since uh, Jupiter is going to be kind of like a almost zoomed through Capricorn, sort of. And we're going to see that Venus is going to be moving very fast as well. So all this um, Mercury energy here together with Venus, it's going to be about messages about love you to go ahead and you have to do something with love so that's why whatever you do um, please do it with love don't uh, focus on the things that uh, they are not really the right stuff focus on the things that it's require more compassion from your own self from your own things into Thursday. On Thursday, the moon is going to be getting in exit Pisces and it's going to begin to entering uh, Aries. Uh, it's going to square Jupiter. And during that square with Jupiter, you're going to be kind of like a shut yourself in the foot of the growth that you're preventing yourself. Very careful of what are you thinking during this period. Are you self-doubting yourself? Oh, I can do this. Oh, I'm not uh, like them. I'm not like this. Um, who I am to be the way they are. Uh, and don't compare yourself to others. Others, they can compare themselves to whatever they want to. You have to compare yourself to your own self. And during this period here, on Thursday, try not to tell anything stupid to your own self and doubt yourself and put yourself down. It's very important that your growth here is to trust the universe, to trust God. And that's what the three laws of the spirituality is. They are trust, surrender and let go. You have to trust the journey. You have to uh, let go of what it's old, what is not working on it and you have to surrender to what it's going to be. So, Friday, as I say, the moon is going to go to uh, Aries, um, right here. That's going to be a squaring of Venus. Uh, where is your love? Is the love towards you or the love towards others? And uh, you need to understand that the real happiness when the love goes inside of you, from you to you. The next level of happiness is when others bring their happiness to you. Then becomes the higher version of happiness, which is bliss. And this is what you are striving into. When you're in a relationship, you're looking at for that bliss, but that bliss doesn't happen. Why? Because you're not uh, working it within your own soul of this uh of this relationship you to be a hundred percent honest within the relationship either the one side is not uh, completely honest or the other if there is no honesty then it's this pool between the two individuals and then nothing goes on nothing is happening so um careful with that uh, aspects on it and uh, saturday the moon's going to move. Uh, it's going to be about three quarters of uh, Aries. And she's going to square Venus, Saturn, and Pluto. So your love, your limitations, your surrounding. You're going to be find yourself that you don't have the love inside of you. You're going to be looking at you limiting yourself. You put yourself down. And you probably gonna go against the surrounding who told you what to do and how to do it instead of you listen to your own self. Uh, this it's gonna be intense energy since the moon is in Aries. Um, this is the beginning. You have to understand this is the something that process that begins again that it brings that fire inside of you. But on the negative side, you need to look at it that. How are you going to do it to others? Are you going to go ahead and tell them, Hey, you didn't love me. I demand you to love me. Hey, you're not doing such and such and such when I do such and such. 
you pointed their limitations. What did you do about it? You go ahead and look at it. You know what? I don't want to have nothing else to do with you. Well, do you have a good relationship with your own self? And this is why it's important that you look at this part of as your own self, is your own inner work. And since the Neptune is going to begin to move, just a one minute, but it's going to begin to move forward of these stucky situations, now these visions with Mars, it's going to be very good. They're going to be moving that heavy energy. And as you see uh, right here, um, Mars can uh, really get kind of like a intense. If it is energy from the moon, it's going to be very, very intense inside of you. And what you're going to do, are you going to focus on yourself? Are you going to focus on others? And Sunday, kind of like a clear energy, doesn't it? Well, the moon is going to be joining Uranus and Taurus and now the moon is going to opposing Mars and usually that is the time when uh, when the people go back and they reflect uh, of everything that goes on in the soul just to remind you Uranus is still a retrograde which is the energy is focused on soul not in the material either though that uh, he's in Taurus so you have to provide your soul solutions into material world and actions and that energy for a Saturday uh, morning, it's going to be a very good uh, of it. But who are you going to be aggravated against you? Who? Are you going to be against other people or are you going to be aggravated against yourself? So don't be aggravated against God. Uh, just let me tell you, this thing uh, doesn't go very well. Uh, you're going to be maybe trigger the, the dark night of the soul and you don't want to go there. That's a whole another ball game that we don't want to open uh, right now to talk about it. But um, this uh, can uh, reflect on you, you to go ahead and do revisions of what's happened in the past few months, what's going on in the past few months, how the things went, how the things are processing into. And uh, if I'm you, I will go ahead and take some personal time for me to be by myself, no family, no anybody else, but just me. And so I can go ahead and do the revisions of the year. And that will be the astrology report for right now. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. And the final message is that uh, I'm going to be beginning the uh, January 1st. All the astrology reports will not going to be posted into the Twin Flame and the Astro Viber channel. It's going to be only only an astro viber channel and if you look at it for it i see that a lot of people they still don't uh, they expecting the um the astrology reports to be at the twin flame channel i'm trying to separate them the boat so that way it won't have the mixed up with the whole boat two of them so thank you so much guys and be loved